And welcome back, folks. We have two beautiful photos to show you. Louise sent this photo of the sunset yesterday in Fayetteville, going behind the clouds. We had a few high clouds, so we had some red and oranges. And Goldie sent this picture of the sunset tonight. Not a cloud in the sky. Red at night means sailor's delight. It will be clear tonight. Our temperatures are still warm in the low 80s across the northern Alleghenies and upper 70s to lower 80s, Oak Hill to Lewisburg to Union and Pipestem. We will be all clear tonight. Our temperatures will go down into the mid 60s, so you don't have to worry about any rain or thunderstorms as we start our day. Now, things are going to change a little bit tomorrow afternoon. Right now it's clear locally, but we do have this complex of storms moving across Illinois into Indiana. It looks similar to some things you've seen over the past couple of years. I won't say it, but it looks like a derecho on the radar right now. Now, this particular storm complex is going to head towards the best pressure falls, and that is across the Tennessee Valley overnight. Also, I want to show you this. This is the current available energy for the storms. Plenty of energy to keep these storms producing widespread damage across Illinois and Indiana, but it does fall off a bit as you head towards our region. These storms will head towards the best instability, so they are going to turn towards Kentucky and Tennessee overnight. Now, with that being said, they're going to leave a big cold outflow, and tomorrow afternoon we will see a few gusty storms timing between 2 and 6, 3 and 8 o'clock. Again, a small handful of storms Tuesday. The best threat will be gusty winds. Now, I mentioned Route 19 and West. Only a couple of you will see these storms very localized and also Bluefield towards Tazewell. We are not expecting the same magnitude of winds and storms that we are currently seeing across the Midwest. Just want to make that clear. We are not expecting a derecho. Now, Let's fast forward to Wednesday. We finally get a cold front coming through. Everybody will see a couple of showers and storms. Briefly gusty winds possible. That storm heads to the south. We are not expecting a squall line with this particular front either as it makes its way through. It does start to retreat north as a warm front and bring us a couple of more showers later in the extended period. So tomorrow we do hit 90 degrees. Again, a small handful of storms between about 3 and 8 o'clock. I do believe everybody will see a shower, at least some rain, on Wednesday. Now the rain amounts Tuesday will be a tenth of an inch or less. These storms are moving fast and they don't have much moisture with them. A couple of showers early Thursday, a little bit cooler and less humid through the early part of the weekend, and a couple of showers Saturday and once again Monday, but the best chance for all of us to get rain much needed on Wednesday. That's your seven day forecast.